The U.S. and Canadian Naval Forces mixed and matched teams and faced off against each other in a hockey match at the San Diego Ice Arena. It's exciting in that we've got uh, Canadian and U.S. service members mixed together uh, on two teams that are going to go out tonight and play a bit of a, a fun game as we stop and remember the War of 1812, which is so important for both of our nations. So I'm really looking forward to uh, a great game tonight. The United States and Canada have been strong allies for the past 200 years. Well, we're obviously close to Canada. We're not closer than any other country in the world. So having the opportunity to get together, have our teams mix up and get on the ice is just superb. After both countries' national anthems were played, the teams donned their helmets and took to the ice. Even though there was fierce competition, players from both countries kept in mind the true spirit of this event. As an added bonus, both Daryl Evans and Jim Fox, former Los Angeles Kings hockey players, showed up to coach the two teams during the game. 88 can dangle! Um, well, it's especially important for us because, you know, Canada, U.S., we have such a great relationship, so it's, it's nice to do something fun, you know, instead of always the serious stuff. It's nice to do something like this, bring everyone out to see it. So. The game went into overtime with the score tied at 3-3. Three three. During the final shootout, the Warhawks rallied and defeated the Militiamen 4-3. We had a great game. It was tied up in the end, and then we went in a shootout. We were down in th into the third, and we just took it. Uh, I'd just like to say we look forward to doing it again next year. I know this is the bicentennial of 1812, but uh, a lot of guys are talking about wanting to do it again and also doing it on a ship one day, and that would be unbelievable. Reporting from the USS Carl Vinson, I'm Petty Officer Alex King.